So like you just gotta like set up. That's hard. You like the setup? Yeah, because I don't yeah. know how to do this shit. Yeah, I'm so like tech savvy, you know. We well, this side is so clear. You don't miss that. It's like, oh shit, what the fuck is. <laughs> Norman, you guys know Norman, like he's the this damn zit. Y'all better not talk shit on my zit. There's no zit. Five times you won't curse in your videos, do you? No, no. it's not though. I, everybody watches, so it's not just you know, look, people, it's grown ups here too. So I didn't get my makeup out. Do you have yours out? Oh, uh, yeah, let me put my wait. Doug, look at this. This is ridiculous. Oh, uh, do you, I, you need moisturizer? I got one. No, I don't take moisturizer on my face. Oh, you don't? Okay. Mm -hmm. I usually always go for a soft look, but it never looks soft for me soft. because, okay. like, I don't have no. Because you have to draw it in. But you, you can still make it look drinking. soft, though. <laughs> yeah. You can still make it look soft. Now, this is killing me. The bump. You can't see it. Right here. This side. You see the bump. Yeah, but ain't nobody. Nigga, you see the bump. When you point it out, people are going to be like, see the bump. Oh, I see it now. So I stopped filling in my eyebrows. I don't do that anymore. What you mean? I don't do my eyebrows anymore. They grow, you see these things? Well, you don't have to do them. You have eyebrows. But still, people, you don't like pencil them in a little bit? Not anymore. I just leave. Why? It, it takes it away a lot of the time. Even though it only takes me like five seconds when I do it, um, it takes away a lot of time. I'm like, I don't feel like doing this. Go away from me with this. <laughs> But yeah, that's well, I miss Phaedra. Right? That's where you got that from. Uh huh. <laughs> if I didn't have to wear eyebrows, <clears throat> like draw them on, mm -hmm. that would be so perfect. You came back with the vengeance, honey, with this. Um, was it Fidelia the Fiend on the song? Was that her? Or that was, was that Norman? No, that was Fidelia. That was Fidelia. <laughs> Hell yeah, that was Fidelia. But you know, all of my characters are a part of me. Exactly. So it was me in there. Right. I came back with the Walmart video. I mean, surely, you know. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And then Fidelia, <laughs> I believe I posted that next. Yeah, I remember the Walmart video. That was cute, too. Well, okay. With the mini skirt throwback. Yeah. <laughs> and that was like um, improv. Did the same guy film that? Or was it a, di a different? Mm -hmm. It was actually just um, some girl um, filmed it. She was, some girl filmed it? Mm -hmm. We was on our way to Walmart. We didn't have nobody to film. It was real random at the last minute. She was walking, I said, you want to make 20 bucks? Film me for like <laughs> 10 minutes. She said, sure. <laughs> was it here in Atlanta or uh, New York or? Mm -hmm, it was in PA. Okay. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. I probably would really got arrested out here. Are you from Pennsylvania? Mm-hmm. Why do I feel, have you been to Pittsburgh? Do you say Pittsburgh? Have you ever been to Pittsburgh? I'm from Pittsburgh. All right. Is Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania? It's Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. See, I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> You're from Miami. Yes. Miami. Yes. yes. We're actually going to be going for the show. Um, mm -hmm. I know I told you about this show that I'm on. It's called Entrepreneurs of Atlanta. Yeah. Um, we're going to be planning a trip there um, in September. We're blind. Now. Bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> what happened? We're going to be planning a trip there in uh, September. So I'm super excited about... Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Super excited about that. So I get to go and see my mom and see, you know, the people and everybody. Let them know you can't be trying me in Miami. I When's the last time you was there in Miami? Um, like six months ago. Okay. Six months ago. My sister wanted me to come visit. Uh, actually this weekend for her uh, gender reveal. I'm like, girl, I see the baby when it comes out. Right. <laughs> I don't gotta go to no gender reveal. <laughs> so for so the, how is the show? You like being a part of it? Girl, so supposedly I'm the villain. They're making me out to be the villain. Um, oh, nice. Yeah. And that's fine and all. Um, 
um, but I don't want to be portrayed in that light because I'm loved by so many people, you know? So I'm like, who wants to play a villain? Who wants to do that? Who wants to look be looked at as negative, you know? Right. I don't want that light on me. So, you know, everybody wants to be in their feelings about me. I recently had an interview on Dash Radio, right? So all the girls were in their feelings because I said something to the effect of, I feel like I've established more. Mm -hmm. um, I, don't know, I don't know why they felt some type of way about that. Um, I, don't, I really don't know. I was over it. Maybe they felt like you weren't being humble. <clears throat> so here's the thing. To be they honest, you just met them kind of right. Yeah, but they don't know me. So they can't say me to say that I'm not humble when they don't know me and know my my jokes or how I played around, you know. Do you think they feel like, well, he don't really know us, how will he know he's more established than us? I honestly say everybody's on the show doing a lot of things. I said that's everybody's here doing a lot of things, but I right. don't know exactly what they're doing, but I know everybody's doing a lot. Um I even shouted some people out. I gave them, I gave people credit when they didn't even do certain things. Right. And they people still felt a certain type of way. And I was like, okay, there's nothing I can do. Did you apologize and say you didn't mean it like that? I did. I made a public apology. And they, you know, didn't, they didn't take it. Some people took it, but some people still want to be immature. So I was like, okay, it's whatever. You know, I can't baby you. Can't keep apologizing, you know. We're gonna move past it, we're gonna move past it. That'll be alright, but you don't want nobody to not like you, so. Yeah, I'm, I don't want that. I was so I'm sorry you felt that. I'm sorry it came out that way. I didn't mean it like right, that. Right, and I let them know that. I said, you know, and for me, I'm the youngest one on the show. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm like, I'm still learning, you know, things. That was my first radio interview, so I'm like, you know. Come on, you guys. Come on. <laughs> you think there's some hope? Like, y'all get along eventually? Yeah, we will, I'm sure. I'm a nice person, you know? Yeah. That is that being humble? Saying that I'm a nice person? Or is that me being egotistical? No, if you're a nice person, you should express it. Yeah. You know, we're so used to people being like, oh, I could be a bitch. I could exactly. be that. I could tell somebody off. It's refreshing to hear exactly. somebody say, I'm a nice I'm, person. And I say that a lot. I'm like, I'm so nice. You can't be mad at me. People can't be mad at me because I'm just nice. When did I, I've been following you, following you for so long? Mm -hmm. um, and I don't even know, like, when it all started. Like, who was the first video you ever seen? Bitch, I don't even know. Like, I can tell it's you so many. I know it was back in your Pittsburgh days, I'm sure. Because you were doing, I remember seeing your makeup a lot. I think that's initially why I followed you because I remember I started seeing your logos. Mm -hmm. I saw your logos. I remember seeing your logo a lot. I like my makeup by Norman logo? Yeah. Oh, so, okay. mm -hmm. so that's when I, I'm sure that's when I started following you because it had to do with uh, makeup. Makeup. Um, and then I remember that video when one of your friends was like, oh, Norman, you getting thick. And then you was like, oh, you see it? Oh, your man not hitting it right? Or oh, something yeah. like that. <laughs> I know that was an old video. I remember that was one of the first video. And when you were doing the Maury thing. Oh, Maury. That yeah. was like, that's the classic. Yeah, when you're doing the Maury thing. That was, that's hilarious. That was dope. Yeah. I was 21. See? I'm really? 25 now. 25. I just turned 25 a month ago. I'm officially grown grown. Grown grown. Gotta say, Miss Norman, when you see a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> wow, my jaw's getting harder too. But you're a man, we're a man here. We know? are. It's we take I'll be forgetting. <laughs> Shit, you be called a little girl for so long, you be like <laughs> It's like no. I'm right, tonight's gonna be fun. We're celebrating um Oh, I wish I can go. The producer's birthday. Oh yeah. They said it's mandatory, girl. I'm like, bitch, I got plans with Norman. <laughs> That's what I told him. I said, I'm supposed to be filming today with Norman, so I don't, you know, I don't know if I could go, but I, I'll try to make it. You know, I wanted to get this out of the way. Right. And he was like, oh, it's mandatory. Why don't you invite him out? I was like, I will. Look up, by the time I go, it'll be over. Right. <laughs> so what made you want to start to uh, the whole comedian thing? Like, Well, to be honest, 
I've always been like a comical person. That's just natural. Yeah. I, um, you know, when social media came by, I used to just record myself, like just doing whatever, like as far as like, even if I was going to the grocery store, I would record mm -hmm. myself. Hey, you guys, remember those To Be Honest videos? Mm -hmm. Like somebody like you do To Be Honest videos? Right. I started doing those and people thought they were hilarious. And that's yeah. kind of like literally where it started. So then... I start recording myself every day. I said, I'm going to start recording myself just going any and everywhere. Mm -hmm. And like, as soon as I started doing that, Everybody I started being like, well, let me, I start saying, let me do skits. Let me dress up. Let me do this. Let me do that. Right. It's all fun for me. I mean, because I be hollering when I see your videos. I be mm -hmm. hollering. I'm like, hey, this bitch is funny. <laughs> Thank you. A lot of people nowadays, they don't even want to see like the makeup. You know, they want to see the makeup, but they want to see you do like crazy makeup. They don't care for like being oh, pretty yeah. no more or anything like that. They just want to see you. They want funny. Like, and because you're really funny and you can do makeup, it's like, <clears throat> they go hand in hand, you know? Right. So you can be funny and still do cute makeup. Right. You don't have to do like the dramatics. Right. So if you're not funny, you got to come with Wait till I get this shit going on and popping. <laughs> So if you're not funny, I'm you gotta to you gotta I'm do sorry. you gotta do this extra shit. Like you gotta, oh, yeah. not saying this is extra, but you gotta do the cut creases and oh, yeah. colors and because I'm not that Thank the funny. Lord for personality. Okay, I got a little personality. Yeah, no, you do. <laughs> People like my corniest videos. Mm hmm What are your infamous videos as, as well as the pickle? Oh, that was a corny one that they love. That you feel like that one was corny? I only did it because that ASMR stuff was really popular. It was. And I was like, well, let me just mimic what that girl does. Be love. I was like, push my. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna real push. Now. No, not be love. Not be love. Um, ASMR the chew. What I'm giving. You said what you're giving to people? Mm hmm. With these lashes. No, I got colors on my stash. Doug? <laughs> you said I'm giving Doug. You're giving Doug. <laughs> Forever Doug. Yes. Like how so like with a mustache, like, does it itch when you sleep? Like how does that happen? No, bitch. <laughs> I can see some people might not know. I have alopecia. I don't grow hair nowhere yes. on my body. What what do you say? At all. <laughs> so I never had a mustache. I don't know what an eyelash feel like. An eyebrow. I had eyebrows before, a long time ago. Mm. But it'll be like half a brow, the other one got a patch. But yes, I don't know how much that's feel, but I want one so bad. Oh my gosh. I know I would look so fine with one. Oh, yes. <laughs> Cause you know I'm a top when I'm in Georgia. Okay. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm just playing. No, I'm getting feral when I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me stop. You're top, y'all. No, no I'm really, really not. I'm a, I don't know what I am. I'm you just know. gay as hell. Norman is down there focused, you guys. He is. Focus. Oh, uh, because this part has to be like. Oh, the top of the brow. Mm hmm. You gotta give me a. Defined. Because I'm like, <clears throat> being that I don't have none, it's like if you mess up sometimes, not start over, but mm -hmm. you gotta go in and fix it. That can be very annoying sometimes. I know. You said, how much was that camera? That camera was. Uh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on, I gotta get the jawline. Uh -huh. It was. Uh, Eight hundred or a thousand, one of those. Oh, um, that's not bad. And then the lens, because it's a Sigma. Sigma that was like eight hundred. They both were like basically roughly a thousand dollars. It was an investment. Mm -hmm. So I got the camera. I just gotta get new lenses, I guess. Mm -hmm. Can I want to do some YouTube tutorials? Get Norman on YouTube, you guys. So you did your, you have a foundation already. Yes and no, I just threw something on her, but I ain't really blend it all the way because I forgot a step, so I went back. Do you put makeup on your head? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Um, when I'm wearing my bald head. Okay. Norman, how long have we been knowing each other? Do you know? A year? Or? I feel like it's been longer. I feel like we've known each other for maybe a couple years, but we met a year ago. Okay. We went out to, uh, we had so much fun that night. Oh, uh, yeah. What was it? We went to Bulldogs, and then we went to, uh... We didn't go to Bulldogs. We, we didn't went to the, the daiquiri place. It was the daiquiri And then we went to the Marquette. We did. The ghetto. The ghetto. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't mind the ghetto, don't get me wrong. So our original thing, you guys, we were going to do a skit, 
Like, I was going to do the aggra like, aggravated woman's makeup. You know, Norman does so many characters, and I really like the aggravated I don't even. Woman. I don't even know if that's a really an actual character. <laughs> I just say she's always aggravated. She is. He, she, whatever it is, is always aggravated. Well, you did the uh, one with the... Um, when the Jesus people came to your door. Jehovah Witness. The whole Jehovah Witness. You like, I don't want no cookies. I don't want what you selling. No magazines. <laughs> oh, you want to get checked. Chinned. You want to get chinned. <laughs> what does that come from? Like, is that like a... a um, no, my aunts used to use that back in the day. Chinned. That they used is... to use sky, stole. Yeah, stole. Chinned. Uh-huh. That's hilarious. I'm going to use that. Oh, you want to get chinned. That is hilarious. I really like doing makeup for people who have, who's like bald, who has cancer, mm -hmm. alopecia. Like that stuff is serious, especially for women. A woman losing her eyebrows and eyelashes, yeah. that is like, that like takes our self esteem from here to there. Mm -hmm. So makeup can really brighten our day. That's really what I'm focused on. That's really good. And that can take you even further. Yeah, and I plan to start that tour this fall. That's good. Yep, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. You need somebody to do your makeup for the tour? Me? You know, you know, cause you, you know, you want to sit back sometimes and be like, you know, just get your makeup done, and I have to do it. You mm -hmm. know. When I'm um, on the tour, I probably won't even have makeup on. No makeup okay. on. Cause I want. You want to be the real you. See, I'm the real me with makeup too, but I no, also, I, know. I, know. I also want them to Look see how comfortable I am with wearing no makeup. Right. And then I want, when I do their makeup, I want to let them know, you know, it's just fun. Something you can do here and there. You do not have to wear this every day. Right. Do you have a song that you really like right now? Hmm. <clears throat> That's a good question. I have a couple songs, but I kind of don't know the names of them. What? <laughs> um, because I listen to them on Pandora. I screenshot it and I put it in the music app so it just plays while I'm driving. Uh-huh. Hmm. The song I'm listening to right now, it's called... Where's my phone? <laughs> Over there. But I like EDM music. Who? EDM. I don't know. I never. What is that? I like pop songs. I like. Um, I'm not really crazy about rap. <laughs> Me either. I love R&B. I'm not crazy about R&B. What? I love to sing. That's why. Maybe. <laughs> I love like pop music and stuff like that. And like instrumentals and stuff. I do like rap music, some of it, but I like old school rap. Not old school like 80s and you early like 90s. Kim? I like um, a few of her songs. Who would you rather, Nikki or Cardi? Um, I wish we stopped comparing them. Me too. I'm not saying as in, in a compare comparison, but who would you? Who do you listen to most, or do you listen to both of them? I like them both. Okay. Yeah. They're both doing their thing. Exactly. Both gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And I respect what both of them are doing. I'm not a big fan of all of their songs. Right. But they both have some songs I tap my toe to. Okay. And I definitely jump off the corner. <laughs> but nah, I like both of them. Everybody's different. That's why I'm like, how could you compare anybody? Right. I do love Nicki. <laughs> but I like Cardi's music as well. Let me go get my phone. <laughs> I love a lot of mascara on my lower lashes. Oh, I love la like lashes. I don't even have none. It's fine. I'm here for the alopecia look. I'm me too. No, bro. I'm like, there's people starting to shave their eyebrows to look like us. <laughs> I have a lip uh, that you can try. It's brand new. Lip, I use it on even. You use it on. It's from I'll MAC. Try. It's a little, it's a nice pink. I think it will go well with your look. You got an applicator? No, you could use it. It's brand new. Know. Yeah, it's brand new. I never put lipstick. It's a new, uh, it's called Love Me. What is it? Love Me Lipstick from MAC. It's brand new. Mm -hmm. Yep. You see the case, the packaging? That's really pretty. I thought it would look cute with your look. It looks you like do, my lip color. You usually wear that kind of color, don't you? No. no? Really, I usually do a gloss and it brings up my lip. And if I do do a color, <clears throat> I like I like lining it. Oh, okay. Sometimes right. I use like a little color to wake mine's up, but mm -hmm. most of the time, he's like, nope. <laughs> a gloss. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And this was the other one. It's darker. I was like, no, that's very fall. 
What you make it look cute. You look cute. Thank you. You know, I'm trying to. I, I do gloss. Like I always do gloss. I love gloss. This is what I always do. And like, this oh, this is too much. Look at this lip. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? You getting a. Uh, this is why I don't wear them. <laughs> it's just too much. This all I do now. I'm like, I don't even. Just give me some gloss. Well, this is. It's a lot. It's a lot for me. I don't really do it. <laughs> Ooh, look. You guys, these are our finished looks. Yours is the bomb. Yours is too. I just threw. I just threw something on you guys. Like bloop. Blue, blue, but yeah, this, this is, this is us, and where's my hat? Your hat? Oh, down there. Cause this is my wig. This is really cute. 